Hello, it's David Willey here, curator of the Tank Museum, and I'm here on April the 1st with Finn the Dog to do his top five favourite vehicles, which just so happen to be hounds. Come on, hurry up. It's my top five. My top five today. Come on, Master. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. This is it. I, uh, I don't think I need to wear a mask. Is that okay? I don't need a mask, do I? No, I don't think I need a mask. I think we can go in. You give me a ticket. You give me a ticket. Go on, in we go. Come on in. Please remember to like, subscribe, or click the little notification bell if you don't want to miss out on these videos. And I'd just like to say thank you to all our patrons for making this possible. Please join them if you can. Oh, number five's down here. Follow me. Follow me. It's down here. Oh, no, it's not. It's back this way. Sorry. Number five is the Greyhound. Yes, the Greyhound. We're here in the Vehicle Conservation Centre. If you look to my, to my right, you can see there's a Greyhound armoured car. Yes, that one, you idiot. That one there. Yep, the Greyhound armoured car. Um, I think you'll notice it's got a 37mm M6 gun on it, and I believe 8,523 of these were made. Uh, the British weren't that bothered with it, if you look. Um, they weren't too impressed with its off-road capabilities. Um, but on-road, 55 miles an hour, quite fast, actually. Uh, about three-quarters of an inch maximum armour protection. Who's that up there? What's going on? Oh, yes, it's, we're filming. Right, yes, that's it. More interesting. Get the ball. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not actually that bothered about this German stuff. It's all named after cats and things like that. So, shall we go and have a look at my next one? Yeah, please. Not no. Yeah, okay. Right, that's the way. Actually, we're going the wrong way, I think. Yeah, there we are. This is the right way. Now, this is my fourth one. This is the Staghound. Now, this was from an order of July 1940. Yes, you listening? July 1941, actually, they put in an order for a medium armoured car, the Americans, but they weren't that bothered. They went for the Greyhound that we've just seen near May. Was that true? And uh, and then they, they what they did, they... Yes, OK, I've lost interest. Right, we're here back in the Vehicle Conservation Centre and I've got a ball. Oh, yeah, OK, we're supposed to be talking about things, aren't we? Uh, right, I'm going to show you my next one, which is one called a Boarhound. That's this big one here. That's it. Look at this one. Now, this was designed as a big, heavy armoured car, potentially for the de desert, and whatever the desert is. And it's... Uh, the ball's really good, actually. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, OK. I could talk about the, the boar hound. And it's got... If you look underneath it, you'll see, actually, under there, look, it's got eight wheels. They're all driven, so it's called an 8x8. Eight eight. I, uh, I think if you look under... Yeah, that's right, under here. And I've lost interest in this one now as well. No, no, let's go and play with the ball instead. Let's go and play with the ball. OK, right. Ball hound's very interesting, but not quite as interesting as a ball. It's moving. It's moving, I tell you. Look. It is. It's moving. Right, this one's called the Whippet or the Critton Chaser, I think you'll find it's called sometimes, or the Medium A. It's it's really, it's a fast tank relative in the First World War. It's about eight miles an hour. I can't even go faster than that. Um, but if you look from around the back, at the rear end here, this is where the three crew members were. And then the tracks run down the side. It's got two Tyler engines in, just so you know. Uh, sorry about this. Um, it's uh, T-Y-L-O-R. That's Tyler engines, both either side. Um, and these bits down the side, what are they for, you're asking? I know what they're for. They're called mud chutes. That's for the mud to come out of as it goes down the side. And if you look about up here, you see the colours, the white, red and white, yeah? They're actually there for recognition. They're recognition strikes in case the enemy had captured one. There, yeah, I'll, I'll just tell you that. And this one, of course, this one's my favourite. I've actually, um, just to let you know, I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Uh, let me look. Uh, yeah, it is. I've driven one of these. I just want to tell you, I've actually driven one of these. This is uh, something called a Daimler Dingo. Yeah, it is. Let me just check again. 
It is. It's a Daimler Dingo. Um, now, these, I, I believe 6,626 of these were actually made. Yeah, you're paying attention. 6,626. And it was probably the best scout car any nation used in World War II. Um, it's got five forward, five reverse gears. If you look up the front there, it's got a Bren gun. And, of course, it was very, very successful. Went on into service into the 1960s. Um, and uh, why are you telling me to sit down and shut up? Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, that was my top five. They're all hounds and all ones I particularly like, but I especially like the dingo. But I also especially, especially like chasing the ball, chasing the ball. Oh, look, there's the ball, there's the ball. Oh, yeah. And can you please remember to, yes, I'm reading it, I'm reading it, to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, uh, well, you know what it is. Press the button in the right place. That's it. Yes, do all that and join Patreon.